Saul's top new convoy is in Washington to meet his American counterpart. This comes amid stalled denuclearization talks between North Korea and the U.S. and reports of the regime's continued missile development. Seoul and Washington are to launch a working group to improve coordination in efforts to deal with Pyongyang. EG1 tells us more. South Korea's Foreign Affairs Ministry has announced that the new working group between South Korea and the U.S. will be launched in Washington on Tuesday afternoon local time. After Special Representative Lee Do-hun held a meeting with Stephen Began on Monday, Seoul and Washington agreed to hold the first meeting of their new working group on Tuesday. This comes about a month after the U.S. State Department announced the formation of a new Seoul Washington Working Group, headed by South Korea's Special Representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs Lee Do Hoon and U.S. Special Representative for North Korea Stephen Began. The new group aims to further tighten the Allies' cooperation and increase discussion on diplomacy, denuclearization efforts, the implementation of UN sanctions, and ways in which the two Koreas can work together within the framework of such sanctions. A senior South Korean official at the ministry told reporters on Tuesday that officials from Seoul's National Security Office and the Unification Ministry are to join Lee in the first meeting. But he added that members of the group will constantly change depending on the agenda. On the agenda for the first meeting, the official said the inter-Korean project to link and modernize railways and roads of South and North Korea will be discussed. The two Koreas initially planned to hold a groundbreaking ceremony late this month or early next month after together checking the eastern and western railways and roads. But the work hasn't started yet, allegedly due to differing views from the U.S. Developments on the high-level talks between Pyongyang and Washington that were postponed earlier in the month will also be discussed on Tuesday. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.